Hello and welcome to BTV. Today we've got some great action in store for you today as Beeston's ladies take on Wimbledon in what is a third v ninth clash in the England Hockey Women's Premier Division. Being no doubt with a third v ninth clash, the Bees are up against it today, but as all the best National League hockey has come to show us, there's always a surprise in store for you today. Joining me today from the chapel on the halfway line is Andy Day. He'll be bringing you his usual rich insights along with commentary as well. We've got action replays and an interview with Jenny Rizzo, Beeson's goalkeeper, straight after the match. It's going to be an absolute cracker. Andy, over to you. Thank you very much indeed, Kellen. Hello, everyone. Welcome to BTV on Knots TV. Beeston's women take centre stage in today's game, which is an interesting one as newly promoted Wimbledon take the trip up the M1 for this England hockey women's Premier Division fixture. Beeston are unbeaten in October without conceding a goal, a win and a draw so far for them. Wimbledon have taken to life in the top tier like ducks to water. Three wins from five games puts them third in the table at the start of the weekend. Of course, our, fixture, our focus is on the women's fixture today, but of course, men are in action. This is the way that things start the weekend for the men. Here are last week's results and the way the table is at the start of the day. Surbiton topped the table, even though they didn't play last weekend. They're on 12 points. Right behind them, old Georgians with 10 points and a better goal difference than third place, Hampstead and Westminster. The Bees, they're in fourth place currently and they're in action against East Grinstead. And uh, things are going quite well for them away from home. They are three goals to one up and they are just about to start the third quarter there. So that's the picture in the men's competition. Last week was a terrific victory for Bees men. How did they do it? Well, let's look in at the highlights of last week's. Beeston's men versus Brooklands. They aren't the greatest game has ever been, but this has got a, a real zip about it. Yeah, both sides here looking to create opportunities, and because uh, they play each other a lot in pre-season friendlies and the like, this is a chance. Out to the left-hand side of the circle. Is this a shooting opportunity? That's been blocked really well by the goalkeeper. Yeah, Robert Turner in recently with them. Indeed, he has. Will break off as Brooklands break towards the Boulevard end. It's come off a stick that's been turned in, and that's the opening goal of the game. And it is Brooklands that have taken the lead. Well, I think, I mean, that finish was excellent. The ball bounced off a stick and was in the air, and the reverse very nicely um, to cut off any through ball passes, except that one. That's nice, and that's into the circle. Who's closest to it is a Brooklyn stick. It's a first penalty corner of the game for Beeston. Now, what happened there? It just seemed to be almost a nothing ball in towards the circle. Adam Dixon. But will it be the left-hand side of the circle or will it be more towards the right? It is Dixon and that's been blocked neatly on the line. It's still live from a beaten perspective and they have a free hit. And it's Four a bit upgraded corner, to a yes, penalty yeah. corner. Well, I don't think the injection pace was quite for Brooklyn to use Indeed. now. This is a golden opportunity for That's Beeston. Injection. Dixon slips it and it's been oh. knocked away in front of the goalkeeper and it's been knocked wide and the umpire having a good think about yes. that one. Now, was if it? they don't get the restarts quick, um, Brooklyn will be in shape. They reset their defence very quickly. Now, this is a bit of an opening. Chance here, play towards the left-hand side of the circle. That's a nice take on the baseline. It popped up and then fired in towards the goal. But it is a defensive hit for Brooklands. I think that was a little bit too... Or just testing the umpire a little bit there. Potential card for that kind of a tackle. Look how quick. Here we go into the D. Oh, important touch. But that probably worked in the favour oh. of the attacking team. Yeah. Good build-up play from Brooklands. Quick. Play from Brooklands. Quick. Um, at least they've got that one sorted out there and then away they come again. The pace Ooh. has gone up another notch and that's a no, That is a nasty tackle. I think that might well be a card. Andrew Rusbridge is the player who came in at the side against uh, Robbie Gleeson. I was uh, just looking down at the note. A play towards the goal. It's still live and hits the outside of the netting. Yeah, intricate little move there. Looking, uh, feigning for the reverse stick shot, leaving it for the open stick play for deflection. And uh, fortunately... Simon Hudran and um, left post defender were switched on to that. Yeah. Useful aerial. Now there is a bit of space here. 
things are starting to open up it is Brooklyn's defence getting tired that's got in front of the goalkeeper that's, that's been played away in the corner, penalty yeah. and that is the best time to do that as there is around about 40 seconds left of the this organisation yeah. that Brooklyn's have had. I would suggest that there might be more joy around the right-hand side of the mm. circle if it could be moved toward, but we'll see how it goes. Played in this time, and that is yes, the equaliser is right on the stroke of three-quarter time, and it's that man again. And interestingly, this time, Adam's been all the, the runners and the defence, so uh, my guess is they'll do the same again. Rob Turner in the goal. Griffiths with a trap, mm. and that's a bit... Oh, it's a big appeal. And it's, what's the yeah, stroke is the stroke. outcome. Yes, it's Adam Dixon's skills there. He decided that he was going to dribble around the... That he could reach that ball, therefore he was behind the defender. And therefore it shouldn't have been a penalty. So Dixon versus Turner. Who's going to come out on top? It is Dixon and Beeston have taken the lead for the first time in the game. Well, interesting, isn't it? Because uh, what would you do without Adam Dixon at the moment? It's, um, he makes a big difference. He creates as many chances as possible. That's working quite nicely down the Beeston left. There's the shooting chance, powered in, and yes. that's the third for Beeston. How about that? That's Alex Bloomfield, he had the space on the turn, and he's gone into the centre at the heart of the D, which is the best shooting zone at the part of the D. Came to a complete stop. I've never seen anything like that before. <laughs> Hockey, you see something new every single game, and that's why we enjoy the sport. And this is a possible turnover here in a good position, and that will be play stopped here. A collision here. I think that might be Tom Lush who's gone down. Yeah, a bit of a coming together of the players. Uh, and we've got the information on the screen. The player of the match and unsurprisingly, after putting two goals into the back of the net, it is Adam Dixon who has been awarded player of the match. And I think, is that it? We have come that to is, the end yes, of the game. Yeah. What an unusual end <laughs> to, a, to a So that was the highlights of the fixture six days ago. Beeston's men taking on Brooklyn's. Our attention now this Saturday is on the women's game. And this is the way that things line up today. East Grinstead currently leading the way with 13 points. Loughborough students, they're on 10 points. Wimbledon, as we were saying, with three wins from their five games. Sitting prettily in third place with nine points. Beeston with four points on the board. Things are starting to come together for them, but be in no doubt this is a tough fixture for them today. Taking you through the Beeston players, firstly of all. Beeston's squad has had an extra week off between the fixture at Birmingham and now coming also off the back of an important win versus Swansea. Top scorer is Lauren Burrell, number nine converting two penalty corners. Just a reminder, she's also taking part in a skydive for Beeston. Wimbledon have quite a collection of former Bees in their roster. Nikki Cochran, the goalkeeper, Myrie Drummond, Nicole Bowen and Susie Petty all playing here before now. Added to that, a selection of internationals, either current or very recently appearing. Anna Toman as well as Nikki Cochran, Susie Petty, Krista Cullen and on the sidelines, Rio 2016 gold medalist Alex Dunson Bennett. A real challenge for the Bees today. Something that will make their day fractionally easier. You can see that there's no Anna Toman in the Wimbledon lineup today, so her threat from penalty corners is diminished somewhat, but that doesn't really reduce the challenge for this Beeston side today. You can see the crosses next to the players, those are the starting 11. Any of the 16 can appear for the teams at any one point time a mixture in the Beeston lineup today of uh, familiar faces and returning faces in that match day 16 and there's a little bit of a, a mixture as well in the Wimbledon lineup it'd be interesting to see how this one pans out as we get underway you can see the Wimbledon women in the white and maroon getting their huddle together it's not the most pleasant of days out on the playing surface today and you can see it's not uh, it's not foggy, but there is a light rain in the air, which will make the playing surface really good to play on. But of course, it's uh, not going to be particularly pleasant to uh, endure for 70 minutes. You can see as we were panning out the, the waves of rain as it's coming there. Beeston in their huddle as well. Jenny Rizzo, the goalkeeper, just at the back of your screen. 
We'll be hearing from her at the end of the game. Today's match umpires, you can see in the orange. Let's give them a name check. Annette Harvey and Claire White are your match umpires for the day. Beeston in the black shirts, playing from left to right, attacking the boulevard end in this first half. Wimbledon in the white and maroon, playing from right to left. It will be Beeston who will get us underway. With the ball right on the centre of the field is Jess Hood. And it will be Beeston to start. There is the first whistle of the game. Clock running. Beeston easing their way into the game. Making sure that the simple things are done right. Possession is maintained. Little things like that don't creep in where there's a tiny bit of miscontrol. No real problem, though, for Beeston. 20 seconds in, and Wimbledon are yet to have a touch. And Beeston have a free hit here. Andy Pendle deciding to go back from the restart. Ball out to the Beeston left-hand side, and it's been intercepted, but Beeston won it back quickly. Good start, this, from the Bees. The longer they can maintain possession of the ball, see the better it is for the home side. Well, welcome to everyone watching around the country. It's part of the England hockey Beeston takeover. Wimbledon's chance now to ease themselves into the game. Whistle goes in there against them, actually. I thought they were going to win the ball there. Not quite far enough from the umpire's liking. So Beeston whip it forward to the left-hand side. Whistle goes again. Beeston incrementally moving their way through the middle of the field. Takes a couple of deflections. I think that may have been a foul from Alice Huddleston. greatest of days to identify players because it's a very murky day so apologies for any misidentifications that may occur during the show today crossfield ball from Wimbledon that's good ambition but beyond Sophie Hawkins the number 14 for Wimbledon at least get the opportunity to restart from the side take nice control to work way right through the challenge really good from Kelsey Brittle and Wimbledon moving into gear quickly Georgie Blackwood Wimbledon ball from here to the circle for the first time for either team. However, that one is watched out of play comfortably by the Beeston goalkeeper. That's the first time the ball's gone into the attacking circle this game so far. Steady start from both teams. Beeston picking up the pace with a diagonal ball, but no one's there to reach it. Moving it neatly around the midfield. And that's a very, very good interception again from Kelsey Bradell. And rolls out of play. And started from Maxi here, just inside the half. Transfer of the ball from the left to the right. And Beeston have won it here. Support coming. That's a neat bit of play on the left-hand side to get the ball into the circle for the first time and that has gone against Beeston so Wimbledon will clear looking I think for a foot there the pass wasn't on at any real time attempted interception doesn't come off Wimbledon moving it down there right hand side but no one's really taking advantage of that Beeston win it back and immediately under pressure again but that pressure's been broken through to Beeston 
free hit on the far side. As you can see by the umbrellas from the social distance crowd here, it's a very murky and wet day. Whistle goes the favour of Beeston there. Can they turn this into an opportunity? Well, we are going back for a restart. A tiny bit too quickly for the umpire's liking, so going for a set piece here. Going back to come forwards. Driven ball. Gillette plays it to the left and receives it again. Uh, looking up, what do you do? You fire it into the circle. That took a touch on the way through from a beast and stick. It's more direct than we have seen in a couple of the games for Beeston. So they're very much up for it. A good start from the home side. And it's been picked up again. Gillette opts the play out to the right. Quick ball out. Pendle. Taps it along, but no one in black is there to receive it. But quickly won back again. This is very good pressure from Beeston winning the ball back. Done it again there. Possession turned over briefly. Beeston have the ball. Looking to fire it along the left sideline, but it goes all the way out over the baseline. It would be a Wimbledon ball. Four quarters of 17 and a half minutes as ever in the England Hockey League Premier Division. So our first break will be on 17 and a half. Two minutes a quarter time. You can see the first... So Substitutions being made for Wimbledon. Rolling substitutions at pretty much any time during the game. Looking at the stats, Wimbledon like to make these around the 10 or 11 minute mark. A little bit earlier than usual. Eastern waiting for the right moment. Try and get the ball into the circle. There's a whistle gone the way of the defensive side and we can clear it from here but look at the number of black shirts so the idea is to go over the top he's taking the air keeping possession with Wimbledon nudged out of play on the side and he's to Wimbledon go again from the sideline ball with transfer across the back long blow of the umpire's whistle free hit for Wimbledon and quickly moving it down the left hand side all action interception and Beeston look to move quickly good stop there though firm stick from captain Harriet Naismith it's a slid ball to the left hand side of the shooting circle and it is beyond everybody Moss in possession, finds a player in space, moves the ball over halfway. Ball's gone off the sideline. We are playing as ever with one match ball at any one time, no handling of the ball allowed if that is the case play will be stopped and we'll have a new sanitised ball brought into play now the ball's rolled favourably here free hit you can see the appeal the player on the floor tapped in good hustle and winning the ball back quite comfortably in the Wimbledon defence back seat number two for Wimbledon all a long way, kept in from Beeston's perspective, just over halfway, flicked along and that was ambitious, knocked out by Wimbledon, and more movement along the far side for Beeston. Self-pass taken quickly towards the baseline, but that's beyond the furthest forward player. Very, very steady start to this game. Both teams feeling each other out somewhat. Oh, 
just out of play. Wimbledon ball. Bowen. Taken in the air. And it will be Wimbledon. Take it from here with a free hit. Smith. Good shepherding from Maddie Pendle. Taking the ball out of harm's way. The bees have it from the side. Real zip about the early exchanges when both teams are in possession, which is very, very nice to see. Again, the ball. Is a bit beyond everybody. Another interceptable ball out of defence. Nudged out. He's on the far side. Good scrambling defence this from Beeston. Though free hit firing towards the edge of the circle, and it's going to be another free hit. A very, very good position. Big appeal, but I think that was played into the player rather than a foot being taken. Not travel far enough, Beast didn't survive that. Been relatively comfortable so far in this game for Beeston. Not to say it's going to get more difficult as the game progresses. They've dealt with everything that's been thrown their way so far. Fired along the ground. Very positive. And they're able to take advantage of that quick ball on the ground. Stern warning from the umpire on the far side. Bit of space here for the bees to progress through. Tapped out of play. Phoebe Nixon, closest player to us. Maddie Pendle with a restart, looks to flick the ball into the air. Controlled neatly in the Wimbledon defence. Easton's forwards really making a nuisance for themselves when the Wimbledon defence are in possession, trying to win the ball back as high up as possible. I'm not going to overdo it, but it's got considerably worse in the last uh, five minutes or so. That's fair a thought for the players and the spectators. First chance of potential shooting opportunity. There's an appeal. We will be going back. The umpire nearest to the camera signalling it will be a wooden ball. You can see there's a route to goal there. Solid, solid stick work in the beast and defence and working it quickly towards halfway. Foot race, and that is a really nice from Kelsey Bridell. She's taken it a long way, but equally good is the defence from Wimbledon, holding the ball back. Bowden. Powerful blow on the whistle. He's just going back. Eastern ball, 14 minutes gone, hammered forward towards halfway and that's a neat bit of skill to take the ball and to play in another teammate on the far side, well played, an adult twist and turn from Maddie Newitt, I think there was a swing and the miss is the call, you can 
see the rain coming down now and the flags in the distance twirling in the wind it is not a nice day at all kudos to the players Apula nice check back and nice layoff as well free hit for Beeston Moss plays it into the circle appeal goes up did come off a, a beastern leg rather than a Wimbledon leg no penalty corner there good tussle for the ball right on the far sideline Wimbledon get the better of it Approaching 16 minutes gone. Beeston finding it hard going to come out of defence at the moment. Good play. Just being tapped out. Hawkins. Good forward ball. And strong running. Ball still live. Another appeal, that's the first penalty corner of the game. And it's gone the way of Wimbledon. No. It is a penalty corner. Let's see that again. Ball popping up, being played in towards the circle and I think engineering the situation. labour the point but it is particularly nasty day here at the Nottingham Hockey Centre weather wise let's see what the delivery is like the trap is good it's low and hard and it's been touched behind in fact the umpire signal says it didn't take a touch it went straight out from the flick thought the goalkeeper may have got a touch on that one umpire's a lot better position than I am so this should be quarter time momentarily. And there it is, no goals. Good game opening up here at Nottingham Hockey Centre. No goals yet, a few opportunities to speak of. A penalty corner from Wimbledon. Sees them probably on points shading it, but we are level. No goals each after 17 and a half minutes. This is the way we are. Beeston nil, Wimbledon nil. Just a reminder that Wimbledon have got three wins under their belt so far. Beeston looking for their second of the season today. Just making sure that the camera's in tip-top condition for you, the viewer, as well. Ready for the next 17 and a half minutes. Quick look also maybe at the men's fixture, which is uh, underway. So 10 minutes to go in that one. Eastern's men are three goals to one up against East Grinstead. So potentially Eastern's men could join Old Georgians in Hampstead and Westminster on 10 points towards the top end of the table. But we'll keep a close eye on that one. Our focus though, of course, is the women's game, which is in front of us, Eastern versus Wimbledon. You can see the umbrellas there over the far side. Coaching team from Wimbledon. Tina Dullahan is the manager, Colin Cooper head coach, assistant coach Alex Danson Bennett. Getting the instructions out to the players. Not sure if either team would change anything too much after the way that that first 17 and a half minutes have played out. Certainly a good day for the big 
coat. Umpires telling the teams to get ready for the start of the second half. And uh, not wasting any time, we are going. I uh, think Beeston wanted to. They've not gone. So Beeston bringing it back. They are going now. You can go on the umpire's command, even if the other team isn't ready. Beeston really starting this second quarter with an equal amount of zip as they did in the first, but Wimbledon have it as a result of that exchange. Okay, Maxi is the number two for Wimbledon. That's a nice ball and a nice take. Bowen inside. Drummond, former B. The thick of the action here. And the whistle blows in favour of Beeston and they can clear. Attempted slip ball forward. Didn't get quite the connection. It's rolled out of play. Guy in front. Set piece position. Good transfer. And moving it quickly towards the left hand side where they're having a bit of joy at the moment. Line was 25. Whistle blows. Beeston will go with Maddie Pendle. Intercepted by Myri Drummond, 16. Pendle again. Hops to go back. Nice bit of space engineered and no messing about. Straightforward ball. That's a nice long pass and a nice take. Running with it. Ron Burrell as the captain. She's just been held up. Nicola Moss falling towards the circle. The goalkeeper's come out a long way and that's hit the outside of the frame of the goal. Nicky Cochran coming a long way and I think ultimately making the right decision. Aerial ball out of defence. That is once taken down and stolen by Wimbledon. He's first to it. Kelsey Brittle. She's done well there. And has earned a free hit as a result. Whiting now under a lot of pressure with a reverse ball forward. And that's a nice bit of work. Alice Huddleston, number seven, bringing it forward. It's been intercepted. And the ball forward knocked out of play from a beast and stick. Making the most of that. Edge towards the attacking circle of the car park end. They're playing from right to left. Opting to go back towards halfway. Work the way into space. Back to the left now. But a bit of a miscommunication, I feel. At least cheaply win possession back from the side. Sideline ball, I'm sure, for Beeston. An ambitious ball forward, it has been cut out though. With a charge forward towards the circle, and that one couldn't have been bought under the spell. It would have really, with a 
good opportunity to maybe work a shot on target there, but it didn't work out. You see Maddie Pendle nearest to us in the Beast and shirt, wiping the rain off her face. It is a horrible, horrible day here. Whistle blows, a little bit of argy bargy. And that is nice work from Kelsey Bradell. She brought it a long way, however. Play stopped with a whistle, beast and ball. Last time Beeston were in action, it was a nil-nil draw away at University of Birmingham. This is neat. Shooting opportunity for Beeston, swing and a miss, but play on. Kicked out from Nicky Cochran. Still live, and it has gone the way of the defensive side. Beeston's best opportunity of the half so far comes to nothing. Wimbledon really penned in. Checking exactly what the instruction is here. Beeston ball. Wimbledon looking to hustle and win the ball back but at the moment Beeston having Joy down the left hand side looking to slip the ball towards the baseline but mass defence I think from Wimbledon is the order of the day and we'll win the ball back 23 metre line lots of black shirts putting pressure on almost immediately and forcing the ball out of play it will be a Wimbledon ball though Beeston's attempted interception knocking the ball out of play Maddie knew it, running across the edge of the circle for Beast and trying to harry, cause an error. And that is big blow on the umpire's whistle. I think we're going to see the first card of the day here. It is a green card that has been shown. Beeston's number nine, Lauren Burrell, the captain, is off for two minutes. Green card, temporary suspension. So Wimbledon have a player advantage. And immediately they're on the attack. Rizzo kicks the ball out. It's firm boot on that, that's the ball out of play. Long corner for Wimbledon. Beeston's stick the last one to touch the ball before it went out of play beyond the baseline. Fired in, high into the circle. But Beeston will get the benefit of the umpire's whistle there. I think it was a little bit too high for the umpire's liking. is one of those opportunities where a more time conscious player will waste a few seconds to get the restart going for Beeston have taken it from the wrong place and I'm sure that's not going to harm things as the clock continues to tick onwards at the moment Beeston are down to 10 players they're in possession briefly Wimbledon win it back where Longwell is because we've got the suspension seats in front of the officials however it's not quite the day for sitting out in the rain whipping the ball out to the right hand side Go Wimbledon that, uh, no real joy there as the ball is stuck behind the spare goal Just wiping away a few more seconds Beeston are back up to a full complement of 11 players. So that suspension for Lauren Burrell is over. So the Bees have seen that uh, two-minute out. Very well. Progress forward, Bridell. And I've said an awful lot so far in the game. And Allo turns well into the circle. What can she get out of this? Well... A couple of Beeston players there in the thick of the action. And the umpires 
point of the hand shows it's going the way of Wimbledon. 27 minutes completed. Still awaiting that first goal. Both teams with a couple of opportunities to score. But possession doesn't seem to be the order of the day for either team. Rubia Pula carries the ball towards the edge of the circle. Is there a turning shoot opportunity here? There's a huge shout from both sides. Wimbledon get the benefit of the decision. Gently bring the ball forward over halfway. More and more pace being injected into the game now. It's the away side get closer to the car park end. Decent turnover from there, but it's intercepted and given away quite cheaply. And Wimbledon on the front foot now. Look to go through the beast of defence. Win another free hit quite centrally here. Sophie Hawkins. Look to move it quickly, slightly too quickly. Whipped in into the circle, played in towards the goal. Goalkeeper's on it. And that's another penalty corner for the visitors. Second of the game. Ball stemming from that free hit situation as the ball kicked out. Time is stopped, by the way. I think it was potentially the way the challenge was executed. Four outfielders plus the goalkeeper in the goal, defending the penalty corner as normal. To inject the ball, Georgie Blackwood, a New Zealander, former East Grinstead player. The injection is good. Hammered towards the goal and there's a firm mitt on that one but the whistle has blown. At least didn't survive that second penalty corner of the game. No Anna Toman in the Wimbledon side today who would be the likeliest to strike a penalty corner. up to the half hour mark no goals that's gone a long way on two stools two Wimbledon players forward it was between both of them Wimbledon finishing this half probably the stronger of the two sides they've had that opportunity that ball's traveled a long way it will be a Wimbledon sideline ball but in a difficult position to get out from so Sophie Hawkins is the number 14 for Wimbledon. Worked out quite nicely. Susie Petty in possession now for the away side. Anna Reynolds, one of the new faces for Wimbledon this season. There's a swing and a miss, and I think there's an opportunity here for Beeston to come away with possession. A little bit of a coming together, but it's all good. Nicola Moss stepping in well to win the ball back in that situation. Hodderston still trying to harry and get the ball back out of the field. Playing surface still in good condition for the game to continue. The ball's in the circle here now. It's laid back, shooting opportunity, and that is the opening goal of the game. Wimbledon have scored. Phoebe Nixon is the goal scorer for Wimbledon. I was saying that for now finishing the game stronger, and that is the uh, finishing the half stronger, and that's evidence of that. You can see the ball popped up and then engineered, and a celebration there from Phoebe Nixon. So it is Wimbledon that have the lead as we're approaching. A half time break. So can the bees find a way back into this game before we end the half? And that's a nice disguise ball forward. Whiting under a lot of pressure here, plays the ball in towards the circle. It's fallen kindly for Beeston. Is this the opportunity? It's across the face of goal. And it did come off a of Beeston player's body in the middle of that.
Nicola Moss thought she'd won the ball back but we hadn't properly restarted there is another interception Didn't last long that beast in possession and another interception from the bees Whiting the ball forward has been cut out though and it has hit her And that has struck Nadia Vanal. Doesn't seem to be too thrilled about that one, but the game will continue. Whistle blowing. I think the ball may have just drifted out of play ever so slightly. So Beeston will go from this position. Time ticking. Time running out in this first half. Is there a route back into goal in the next two minutes or so? Easy turnover. Wimbledon in themselves turn the ball over again. Appeal Colin Clark. You can see in the dugout, looking to make a case that it is a beast and ball, and that is the way it has gone out. Wimbledon, as I said, finishing the half stronger. Really neat work there. Rubia Pula, 52 for Beeston. 16 years old at the season start. Towards the baseline. Could this be opportunity for the equaliser? It's across the face of goal. The goalkeeper's committed. There's a real scramble here. Can the ball be turned in? The ball is still in play. Long corner is the signal from the umpire. Real scramble there with 60 seconds to go in the first half. Goalkeeper committed. Going low. and looking for a strong finish to the first half. Gillett plays the ball in towards the circle, bounces a long way, here's a take, but the whistle has blown. Wimbledon defensive hit with 30 seconds to go in the first half. And that probably should be it in terms of opportunities for Beeston. Intelligent use of... Uh, intelligent use of the ball. Possession still maintained by Wimbledon. Here's an interception. Could this... I haven't even got the words out of my mouth. It has been won back by Wimbledon. Going from the side, and that probably will be the last action in the first half. And it is half-time. Beeston nil, Wimbledon 1 is the half-time score. Phoebe Nixon's goal, the difference between the two sides here at a very damp... Nottingham Hockey Centre there's the confirmation coming in the 32nd minute just three minutes before half time 23 in the 32nd Phoebe Nixon's goal separates the two sides and also confirmation there of uh, Lauren Burrell's green card earlier in the half as well it is very wet it is a horrible day and kudos again to the players who are giving it everything for us on BTV 10 minutes for the teams to catch their breath Maybe warm up a tiny bit in the rain at Nottingham Hockey Centre. We'll do exactly the same. We'll catch you again in a few minutes' time. Good forward ball. And strong running. Ball still live. Another appeal. That's the first penalty corner of the game. And it's gone the way of Wimbledon. No. It is a penalty corner. Good forward ball. And strong running. Ball still live. Another appeal. That's the first penalty corner of the game. And it's gone the way of Wimbledon. No. It is a penalty corner. Nicola Moss falling towards the circle. The goalkeeper's come out a long way and that's hit the outside of the frame of the goal.
This is neat. Shooting opportunity for Beeston. Swing and a miss, but play on. Kicked out from Nicky Cochran. Still live, and it has gone the way of the defensive side. Beeston's best opportunity of the half so far. To move it quickly, slightly too quickly. Whipped in into the circle, played in towards the goal. Goalkeeper's on it. And that's another penalty corner for the visitors. Playing surface still in good condition for the game to continue. The ball's in the circle here now. It's laid back, shooting opportunity, and that is the opening goal of the game. Wimbledon have scored. Phoebe Nixon. Welcome back to BTV. Beeston nil, Wimbledon 1 is the half-time score. Just the one goal to tell you about Phoebe Nixon for Wimbledon. She at the moment has put Wimbledon in the driving seat with her strike. And at 32 minutes, Beeston though have had their opportunities. So there's plenty of life in this game yet. Quick quick look at the uh, detail for the men's game it finished 3-3 three, three, and Beeston were 3-0 up Chris Proctor with a brace and Henry Croft adding the third all from open play East Grinstead converting two penalty corners Joe Nolte on 35 and 61 and Lewis Gittens scoring from open play with a very very late goal indeed so points are shared Beeston will be heading back with a point so that's the way things are in the men's competition. Beast to note, three goals up, they'll be disappointed. 
to come away with only one point. So, without further ado, let's get back in the second half. Beeston Mill, Wimbledon 1. It is the visitors in the white and maroon who will start the second half. They're playing left to right, waiting for that first. I think there might be a bit of water damage to the umpire's radios. So that's what we were just waiting for. Teams are ready. It, oh, it bears repeating it. It is an absolutely filthy day. You can see the flags fluttering in the distance and a little bit more than fluttering as the rain swirls around as well. So we've had advice that if the it's become difficult for the umpires to see the players, then the game will be temporarily suspended. So we'll keep things going as best as we possibly can. Wimbledon, as I said, in the white and maroon, playing from left to right, attacking the boulevard end in the second half. Beeston in the black shirts, from right to left, attacking the car park. And instantly, there's an interception. Beeston getting a whistle. And not being restarted from quite the right position. That's a nice take. Around number nine, taking the ball towards the baseline, but just over it. Things starting to open up along the Wimbledon right hand side. Madison Howie's ball. Long wait after he retrieved from behind the water cannon post. Paige Gillett has gone to retrieve the ball. As I mentioned earlier on, only one match ball in play at any one time for COVID security. And if anyone touches the ball, we need to get a new cleansed one ready for play. under pressure, does well, and Whiting, gets a free hit out of it, still moving the ball to the right hand side just in front of the technical dugout, slick move and played inside, Rumbled and no wise to it, and it's a free hit for the visitors. Aerial ball from the defence, bounces once. Gillette controls it. Beeston have possession. Did say at the start of the programme it will be a tough asker here. Are oh, the bees on the attack? Bill played back and it isn't able to be turned in. Really presentable opportunity. It must have taken a deflection off a of Wimbledon stick because it is Beeston that have been given the sideline ball here. A flurry of activity. Beeston probably their best chance of the entire game so far. Good spread of the play. There's an appeal from the Wimbledon player on the far side but not given there. The ball's taken down in the circle. And just before the shot was about to be coming, whisked away from a Wimbledon perspective. And I think there's a little bit of a coming together. And you can see the limp. Alice Huddleston, I think, uh, moving slightly gingerly. Number seven for Beeston. Looks like she's OK, though, now. Looking to hustle and harry and win the ball back high up the field of plate. An easy turnover, possibly. But Wimbledon are wise to that. They've got the ball up to halfway. So far this season, both teams have had quite similar programmes. Broadly similar results, but Wimbledon have had the better of it. Both teams have beaten Swansea 4 0 at home. Both teams have played Clifton Robinson's Beeston, though, coming out a winner in the T20 
Tier 1 final here at Nottingham Hockey Centre. Clifton Robinson is getting the better of Wimbledon. 3-1 away. An away win against Holcomb for Wimbledon. A 2-0 win over the University of Birmingham. That was a 0-0 draw for the University of Birmingham when Beeston visited them a fortnight ago. Steady progress. Down the Wimbledon left. Ship ball forward, intercepted firmly. At least the defence. Shielding the ball away from any potential intercepts. And that is done very well indeed. Ball carried over halfway and quickly transferred towards the 23. Been mopped up by the Wimbledon defence. Good work from a very experienced Scottish player, Alison Howie. Whistle blows, Beeston have it. I hope you can hear a terrific amount of noise between the coaching teams and the players as well. Things are hotting up on the field of play currently. Many games here at Nottingham Hockey Centre before. Very slick. Is there an end product to this? It's across the face of goal. Goalkeeper planted away. It's still live. And the whistle blows just in time from a Beeston perspective. That very much held all the hallmarks of what could be goal number two for Wimbledon, but it wasn't to be. Possession now, looks around. That's number 30, Paige Gillis. Doesn't quite work out. Beeston's 22. It's a little bit of confusion here. We wait for the ball to be returned back to the position we'll be restarting from. Lots of activity in the defence for Beeston, trying to be in the right place at the right time, being a nuisance. That's a nice bit of defensive work. Page Gillard again. Plenty of endeavour, trying to find a route through. Wins a free hit here. Decides, instead of playing it quickly, to leave it to a teammate. Crunched along. Doesn't stick. And Wimbledon. Go through the gears quickly and into the 23. Twists, maintaining possession. This is neat from the visitors, played outside. Goalkeeper commits. And it is a back stick, as indicated by the umpire in orange. That's out of play from the Wimbledon stick. Ten minutes until three-quarter time. Beast can get back into this. The Wimbledon think that one goal might be enough to seal all three points. Martha Lawrence is uh, 31 for Beeston. Huge amount of space. You can tell how far forward the Beeston players are. They want to get forward in a hurry and potentially a little bit too quickly as the ball bounces up off the stick. And out. Play. Wimbledon with a shallow ball in from the side. Not quite. Doesn't go to plan either. Nice interplay. Stringing quite a few passes together here. Here's the captain, Nay Smith. Right towards 
Well, somehow he checks back inside. Easton marking the space well and looking for an interception. Mongrel stepping in. Neat shallow ball again. Wimbledon, though, this time are penalised. Starting to get a tiny bit stretched now. Eastern ball. Going around the outside. Check back. Was that a foot? It is outside of the circle. Playing it. Quickly a big call of play. Is this a shooting opportunity? Fired towards goal, but must have taken a tiny flick off a Wimbledon stick. Long corner for Beeston. In position is Julie Whiting, number four. Lawrence plays it towards the baseline. In towards the circle, did that find a foot? No, it didn't. Good marking in the circle again from Wimbledon, really making it difficult to get a route to goal or a pass to a teammate from a Beeston perspective. Three quarters of an hour played, just the one goal, it was a very fine goal taken by Phoebe Nixon. Sound of stick on stick. Whistle goes for the visitors. One two spots of rain on the lens. Still not particularly pleasant today. It's got, I think, significantly better than it was at half time. He's looking to play out from the back. Fired forward. Wimbledon holding the ball up. To change of players on the sideline. That's a good interception from Moss. She's gone to ground here. Play continues. Wimbledon are really getting their passing right as they progress. The interception again is good from Beeston. Hammered forward. Is there anyone there to receive it on the end of that? No, there is not. It'll be turned over to Wimbledon. In and intercepted and quickly Beeston can get on the attack here sticks intertwined there's appeal 22 and Arlo fired in towards the circle but there's no one there to get on the end of it from Julie Whiting's ball forward long corner is the outcome here is Whiting again Look at the blocking of space from the Wimbledon defence. It's good stuff to see, making it difficult for Beeston to get the ball into the circle at the crucial time. Very alert defending, although there's a slip that might have let Beeston in here. Again, that's a good interception, alert defence. That's been kept into play very neatly from Nicole Bowen. However, it doesn't last long. Beeston will go from the side. Lawrence is 31 here. Good close control. That should be 
free hit for Beeston, but play continues. In fact, it is being brought back for that connection with the foot. Long ball forward, but no one in the black shirt. Close to it, and I think, yes, that's going to be a stoppage. And Wooden will go through the defence again. The halfway. And kept in. And not kept in on the far side. Pula looking to go through the traffic. Gillett fires the ball, Apula again. Shields back to Gillett. Over halfway. Strong running. And that's neat. And it's another free hit, this time in an extremely presentable position for Beeston. Coming up to 50 minutes now on the clock. Just have another look at how the Wimbledon defence is lined up and the way that they're defending the space really well indeed. Also watching the runners as they come in and how easy was that for the well-drilled Wimbledon defence to mop up. Quickly turning defence into attack. Support coming up for Wimbledon and it's been given away high up the field. forward last still being played up into the air Whiting not too thrilled with the outcome of that one and there's a long blow on the umpire's whistle looks like we're setting up for a penalty corner Let's have another look at that. Reynolds ball forward. There's the run and then the sweep, I think. And the attacking player. So that uh, tackle from behind. Sweeping the stick away. Sees a third penalty corner of the game for the visitors. Now, Moss's law suggests that he should score once every three times when you're awarded a penalty corner. And this is the third one. Georgie Blackwood will go over to inject the ball. Two obvious targets towards the edge. Four in the goal for outfielders for Beast. And the delivery is good. It's routine and it's come off the goalkeeper. Goalkeeper scooping things away. And we've got a player down. And there is the umpire's whistle stopping the clock now. I think that might be worth seeing again the whole routine. Paige Gillett is the player who is down. She's getting up now. But let's have a look at the corner again. Nice, neat interplay. Trying to work the way towards the edge of the... Towards the goal. There's the shot. There's the goalkeeper going down. I think it was a slip more than anything. Hand straight on the hip. We're all okay to continue. And because play was stopped, the instruction is that we're going to have a bully, I think. Yes, indeed. I think in the spirit of fairness, it will be it will be won by Beast and then played down towards halfway. And uh, either intentionally or otherwise, that's the way it's worked out. Beast and snap into the Interception quickly. And I think we're about to see another player go into the umpire's notebook here. Now, because of the distance, there is a green card right on the end of that three of three-quarter time, so Beeston with it all to do, but they will start the fourth quarter with a player advantage. So conditions-wise, things are looking a little bit brighter here at Nottingham Hockey Centre. Wimbledon, though, they'll be happy with the way that the game has gone at the moment. It's been hard fought, it's been difficult. Both teams have been fighting the conditions as much as playing the opponents. 
Beeston, though, still have had a couple of presentable opportunities. I wonder if they'll get another one in the next 17 and a half minutes. Two minutes of three-quarter time. Time to bring you an update. They're starting at East Grinstead versus University of Birmingham. No goals in that one. Just uh, That match is just eight minutes old. Later on today, you can see on the screen, it's Holcomb versus Hampstead and Westminster. East Grinstead are the team currently in pole position in the competition. Loughborough students not playing this week. They're in second place on 10. Wimbledon could leapfrog them with a victory today. So that's their goal. Beeston, though, need to get back on level terms. Teams finishing in the top five will be in, po in position to try and win the league this season. That's what everybody's looking for. Beeston will be having to find at least two goals and not concede another one to move from four points to seven points. That's the way things are in the England Hockey Women's Premier Division. You can see a big clap of the hands from Colin Clark. Easy now. Beeston's coach. He's also the head coach of Finland men as well. So is there, within this Beeston side, enough to try and get on level terms? Have Wimbledon got enough to maybe pull beyond this Beeston side and make all three points secure nice and early? It will be Wimbledon to restart. And a reminder, they are a player down. Green card right at the end of the third quarter. So you can see the bees are a little bit further forward than they might have been. Win the ball back. It's ball action running ahead of Beeston's defence from Paige Gillett. Good spin, winning the ball back from Wimbledon in the middle of the field. Interception is good. And that is very nicely done as well. Easton moving forward through Lawrence. She's got a little bit of space to run into. Decides to check inside. Good and defence doing very well indeed. But they've been turned over. However, umpire's whistle blows in favour of the visitors. And will go again from here. Sixty seconds gone on that temporary suspension. Lawrence striking the ball back. You can see that Wimbledon happy for Beeston to have possession up until halfway. It's not hurting them as they get closer and closer to the goal at the car park end. Things are starting to really tighten up in the Wimbledon defence. I think we're in the middle of another horrible spell of rain. It's got significantly darker there, even though the floodlights are on. I remind you, just in case uh, you missed it earlier on, if there is a spell where the players can't be identified by the umpires, then the match will be paused. Back up to 11, so it's a full complement of players on both sides. Ball bringing up spray, and that's a tiny bit of a miscontrol. I don't know how much the conditions really hindered the Wimbledon side there, but this could work out in Beeston's favour quickly and towards the circle. Is it kept in on the baseline? It is. And that's a player that's gone down. That's a big appeal. Play on is the outcome. Good running on the far side. Ball's knocked out of play. Beeston ball. Hard on 
the halfway line and move quickly towards the left hand side the wooden ball here's the outcome just the one goal we've had so far in the game is there going to be another can Beeston get on level terms? Can Wimbledon possibly pull ahead? Put themselves on easy street back for their journey to London. Whistle blows. Wimbledon ball. Neat twist and turn. However, possession is given away. And there's quite a few Beeston players forward here. That's decent. Beeston have the whistle. We can afford to put a few more players further forward, lingering around. Now the goalkeeper is Jess Hood. Pole position to snaffle anything up. The ball needs to be in the circle first. That ball's topped. Whiting under pressure. Does well. Wins the ball. Can she get it into the circle? Has she earned herself a penalty corner? Yes, it is the first penalty corner of the game for Beeson. All down to the hard work of Julie Whiting. see real endeavor to win the ball back and winning the ball you can see the frustration as Kate Maxey turns she knows what's happened so Lauren Burrell number nine she scored two penalty corners in the win over Swansea she around the edge of the circle Paige Gillett also scored two last season Let's see what's in store here the injection is quick the trap is good it's played low and that's a repeat penalty corner so two in quick succession for the bees the injection has been a lot faster than I think we've seen it in previous weeks the trap was also good and whilst not getting a shot that troubled the goalkeeper second prize is a repeat penalty corner. Umpire excellently positioned to spot that. Now let's see what happens. Is it going to be the same routine or something a little bit different? Looking for the tap towards the goal. And that has the back stick by the Beeston player is the call. And I think there's a little bit of surprise there. However, Again, the umpire's optimum position to see that. So those two penalty corners coming to nothing. Maybe slightly over elaborate, but all the same, really presentable opportunities. Wimbledon's turn to press now. There dispossessed of the ball high up the field and Beeston really coming forward like a train now hardly anyone at home and that's fired towards the goal did that hit a leg in the circle no it did not it is a defensive hit for Wimbledon real pace in the Beeston counter attack there on this ground a week ago we saw a good run and shot which ended in a goal. That's a powerful whistle. That's another turnover. Whiting, who's really come to prominence in the last five minutes or so in this beast side. Opts to drop the ball back and Easton can throw a few more players forward. Lawrence's ball towards the edge of the circle. On the reverse side, played in, long corner. 60 minutes gone, 10 minutes to play. Whiting will go with the long corner. Again, the space is being marked very intelligently. And it's a penalty corner for Beast, and I'm sure I heard a, a huge collision of stick on stick. So it's a third penalty corner for the Bees. Mussy's Law says a third penalty corner. 
And it's a yellow card for Sophie Bowden for that challenge. So it will be not only a penalty corner, it will be a minimum of five minutes away from play for Sophie Bowden. So Easton really can make hay while the sun shines. Certainly no one's making any hay and there's no sun shining today, I can tell you that. Third penalty corner for Beeston. Can they convert it? They've come close twice. Can they make the third one count? The injection is good to Gillett, who fires it in. And it's bounced away. Good defence from Wimbledon. Whiting wins the ball back high up the field as well. Good pace really now from this Beeston side. There's an appeal for a foot. And yes, unfortunately, that is the case from a Beeston perspective. Really promising grit and determination from the home side. But it's Wimbledon that are riding it out at the moment. Pressure coming from the beast and forwards. You can see the spray coming off up the ball again. Whistle goes. And Beeston again really snapping into things. It's a, I can't say it's a transformation from Beeston, but it's almost a, a different change of attitude. They know they've got uh, ten, less than 10 minutes remaining. One goal can see them get a point at the very least. And maybe, if momentum's going their way, maybe all three. Towards the baseline, in towards the circle. Good defence, well watched from Wimbledon. Look at the number of black shirts trying to be a nuisance and stop the progress from Wimbledon on the far side. Fired along. Tapped away. Ruth Tressida. Ball nudged over the baseline. conditions Wimbledon find themselves at the moment they've come out of it really well Easton scrambling out of defence and they've done pretty well there good work from both teams in that uh, sequence only from coming out of the pressure from Wimbledon but also winning the ball back quickly from Beeston shaping up to be a dramatic final seven minutes is there another goal in this can the Bees make the most of this opportunity whilst they're still up a player and that is just out of reach from the forward. How unfortunate is that? Really, really presentable. Maybe a tiny bit less pace, maybe a tiny bit more forward. And Beeston could have been on terms here. Sophie Bowden shown a yellow card less than five minutes ago. So it's 10 at the moment for Wimbledon versus the 11 of Beeston. Time Court's turn to player of the match. That's neat. Georgie Blackwood playing the ball towards the edge of the circle. Gillette doing well to mop up in defence. A little bit of space. It's done well. Captain Lauren Burrell. However, turnover of possession. Drummond. Really good stuff from Alice Huddleston. Trying to force an error. Whiting. All action, winning the ball back again. Fired low into the circle. Who's closest to it? It's a long corner indicated from the umpire. So Beeston really with a bit between their teeth at the moment. I'm sure there's not long left on that suspension as well. So 
And so a route back into the game whilst the Bees are up a player. Another long corner. Moss with a restart. Gillett powers the ball in towards the circle. Did that hit a foot in the middle of that? Umpire says no. And that suspension is over. So 11 versus 11. I think they're sensing that there's something in this whilst there's just the one goal difference. Genadine wonders to retain possession. Beeston pressing forward. This is neat. Is this a shooting opportunity? Everyone's gathering around the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper's on the floor. And that is a penalty corner. I don't think the goalkeeper would do a lot about that. And I'm sure that's what's being expressed to the umpire. Nicky Cochran. Less than thrilled, I think. But I don't think there's anything she could do. I think the ball got trapped under her. Let's have another look. So she's down on the ground. And yes, I think uh, right on it. Kelsey Brittle was trying to get the ball out from underneath the goalkeeper. So it's a fourth penalty corner for Beeston. They've done well. Can they convert this head of steam into a goal? We're pausing whilst the... Outfielders are getting their face protection on. Golden opportunity for the Bees to get back on level terms here. Can they take this chance? The injection is great. It is fired low and... No one's able to convert the opportunity. So it evaporates from a Beeston perspective. Four penalty corners non-converted. In fact, Beeston now lead in penalty corners. The statistic which is most important of all is the one that's on the screen. Wimbledon are leading by a goal to nil. Whistle blows. Bit of a coming together, but you can tell from the smiles on the players' faces that all is well. Two and a half minutes to go. Beeston playing the ball quickly to the left-hand side of the circle. Whipped in. Is there another opportunity to get it closer to goal this time? Another big appeal. No, and you can see the international message of calm everything down from the experienced Nicky Cochran and the Wimbledon goal. Of course, Nicky Cochran, former B, won't want to be beaten today. Smart play from Georgie Blackwood, playing the ball along the ground. That's exactly where the away side want to keep it with less than two minutes to go. Probably the best the builder could do that was to knock the ball out of play. Ninety seconds to go. Ball bouncing around. And it come off a Wimbledon stick. Clock continuing to tick down. For a beast in perspective. Can they get on level terms? They've got to do it. In the remaining 60 seconds. Have they got that goal in them? Or will it be three points for Wimbledon today? Fired along the right hand side. It's through. Foot race to get closest to the ball. Long corner signals the umpire. Surely this is the opportunity for Beeston to throw everything at it. And experience tells me that anything can happen. It's a defensive hit though. And really, that should be it from a team filled with experience as Wimbledon are. So all three points are going the way. And the M1, although... That's a good interception, although Wimbledon will get the free hit. Ten seconds or thereabouts remain. 
Looks like a good day on the road for Wimbledon. And with the ball travelling almost to the 23, is there time for one more roll of the dice? No, there is not. And that is it. Time is up. It's been a very enjoyable 70 minutes of play. It is Wimbledon that have secured all three points. The goal from Phoebe Nixon in the first half, securing the three points for the visitors. Strong performance in patches for Beeston, but Wimbledon seeing it through with a win on the road. Congratulations to Wimbledon taking all three points in this England Hockey Premier Division game. Beeston, though, not the greatest day at the office from them, but they will take some comfort from some of the play that they'd had today. We'll play you the highlights, and then after that we'll be coming back to you with an interview with Beeston's goalkeeper, Jenny Rizzo. Good forward ball and strong running. Ball still live, another appeal, that's the first penalty corner of the game and it's gone the way of Wimbledon, no, it is a penalty corner. Good forward ball, strong running, ball still live, another appeal, that's the first penalty corner of the game and it's gone the way of Wimbledon, no, it is a penalty corner. Lamos falling towards the circle. The goalkeeper's come out a long way and that's hit the outside of the frame of the goal. This is neat. Shooting opportunity for Beeston. Swing and a miss but play on. Kicked out from Nicky Cochran. Still live and it has gone the way of the defensive side. Beeston's best opportunity of the half so far. To move it quickly, slightly too quickly. Whipped in into the circle, played in towards the goal. Goalkeeper's on it. And that's another penalty corner for the visitors. Playing surface still in good condition for the game to continue. The ball's in the circle here now. It's laid back, shooting opportunity, and that is the opening goal of the game. Wimbledon have scored. Phoebe Nixon. Beeston have possession. Did say at the start of the programme it will be a tough ask, and here are the bees on the attack. Bill played back, and it isn't able to be turned in. Really presentable opportunity. Played many games here at Nottingham Hockey Centre before. Very slick. Is there an end product to this? It's across the face of goal. Goalkeeper patted away. It's still live. And the whistle blows just in. Back. Was that a foot? It is outside of the circle. Playing it. Quickly a big call of play. Is this a shooting opportunity? Fired towards goal, but must have taken a tiny flick off a Wimbledon stick. Long corner for Beeston. A well-drilled Wimbledon defence to mop up. Quickly turning defence into attack. Support coming up for Wimbledon and it's been given away high up the field. Whiting not too thrilled with the outcome of that one. And there's a long blow on the umpire's whistle. Looks like we're setting up for a penalty corner. Towards the edge. Or in the goal, right field is the beast. And the delivery is good. It's routine and it's come off the goalkeeper. Goalkeeper scooping things away. And we've got a player down. Needs to be in the circle first. That ball's topped. Whiting under pressure. Does well. Wins the ball. 
Can she get it into the circle? Has she earned herself a penalty corner? Yes, it is the first penalty corner of the game for Beeston. All down to the hard work of Julie Whiting. Again, the space is being marked very intelligently. Wimbledon. And it's a penalty corner for Beast, and I'm sure I heard a, a huge collision of stick on stick. So it's a. Commiserations to the Bees. It was Beeston nil, Wimbledon one. With me now is Beeston goalkeeper Jenny Rizzo. Jenny, thank you ever so much for talking to us straight after the game. Your thoughts on the game? Absolutely, no, I'm absolutely sure about that. But I suppose with a, a third place v ninth place uh, game, we always thought it might be a bit of a, a David and Goliath clash. I suppose it is, I guess it is encouraging, I suppose, to see that we were, I suppose, in it for a lot of the game. But I suppose in terms of Beeson's morale for the rest of the season, um, how do you think the, the girls will be, just reflecting on the game? Absolutely. Now, I wouldn't want to speak on behalf of Colin Clark, who's a man very much with his own, sometimes very strong opinions, but I suppose, what do you think Colin uh, is going to be saying to the, uh, to the team, especially as, as you reflect on the game during the week? Absolutely. You've been watching BTV. It's been Beeston versus Wimbledon. Beeston were on nil and Wimbledon have taken the game with a 1-0 lead. As always, thank you ever so much for watching. Jenny, it's been a pleasure. Thank you.